Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, then please, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It means so much. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this DIY paper towel holder. We are making this for our fall camping trip for our campsite setup. I'm also going to be using it when we get home inside my own home because I am absolutely in love with it. I love this paper towel holder so much. So the first thing I did was I drew out a design and I handed it to my husband and I recruited him to help me because this is something that I was not able to execute on my own. I just had the idea in my head, but my husband thankfully is so handy. So if you're handy or your husband is handy or you have a dad or a mom that's super handy, then go ahead and recruit them for some help and you can definitely recreate this on your own. It was super simple, super easy. We just used pieces of wood that we already had and that's the first thing my husband is doing is he is cutting all of the pieces of wood to size which he will explain to you in a moment. He's gonna give you a step-by-step -step instruction guide on how to make this as he's making it in a moment. So without further ado, let's just get right to this video. So the only wood you're gonna need for this is a one by six and a one by four. I think the shortest you can get is like six footers. You're gonna need a, th this is the back of the paper towel holder. It's the one by six and I cut it 13 inches long. This is the base and it's a one by six also and I cut it five and five eighths inches long. Five and a half would probably do. And these are our two, two sides. They are, I cut them at eight and a half inches long. This is the other two sides. So all these four pieces are eight and a half inches long and they're my one by fours. So four one by fours at eight and a half inches. And then this is my front. And what I did was I wanted to keep it the same size as the sides. So I cut it at eight and a half inches tall, but it was a one by six. So a one by six is five and a half inches wide. So I cut it down to five inches. So I cut a half an inch off and then I cut it straight down the middle. If you've got a different board, the dimensions of these two pieces are two and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches tall. Because we want the front of it to have a slit down the middle and you'll see why in a moment. But now we are going to sand all the pieces. That's your next step. So I'm gonna use my 16 gauge nailer with inch and a half nails. If you don't have this, you could use inch and a half wood screws. Would probably be your easiest bet. Pre-drill and use inch and a half wood screws. Cool, yeah. And I'm gonna use wood glue. Wood glue. The first thing I wanna do is I'm going to attach, I'm gonna attach the back. So I just clamped it down so that I would have a 
sturdy surface to be able to nail against. If you got a wall or something you can put this up against, you can do that. You said you like this? Mm-hmm. You want it like that? Mm-hmm. Eric, can I have it on the other side, that part? Hmm? Can I have that part on the other side? On the other sides? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, that's a good side. That's a good side. I it doesn't matter what side is. <laughs> okay. So, to create a little visual interest in this paper towel holder for my wife, I want to drill a hole, inch and a half hole, right here at the top. So my board is five and a half wide, which means it's two and three quarter to the center. Mark right there. There we go. This is an inch and a half paddle bit. Can you see it? So now I'm gonna sand these fronts down because I didn't really wanna cut my boards perfectly right here, so it ended up having a little bit of an overhang. So I'm gonna sand that overhang off. Yeah. Can you come back? Yeah. I love you. Love you.
So, this is the finished product, and my wife's design from her own head came up to make this slit in the center that you guys see there. And we put the paper towels here so you can pull it out of the middle because camping every single year, we have a problem with the wind blowing our paper towels, and unless you have some kind of a, a, a rubber band or something around it, they always blow away and unravel on you. So. This is to keep that from ever happening again. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned to my wife's channel for all her camping videos to come. And make sure to subscribe. We're trying to get her to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Thank you guys. Say thanks, Bruno. Say thanks. <laughs>